Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Hi, this is the second video in the series where we're looking at popular questions in the higher tier for AQA, Edexcel, OCR and Educas. Now we dealt with question number one in the previous video. In this video we're going to be starting to look at question number two. Okay, and here we are on question number two, which is all about functions. Now, the first part of it, it says find GF of three. Okay, now if you're not sure about any of this, these videos, please do let me know in the comments and I will be able to give you a playlist. But what we're basically doing with part A is saying, well, we need to firstly work out the function of three. Okay, so the function of three is where we take the value of three and we put it directly into the function itself. So it's going to become 3 multiplied by 3 plus 2 and that's going to give us a value of 11. Okay, now we are being asked for the gf of 3 so therefore we're working backwards. We've now got the function of 3 and what we're going to do is to take it and put that value of 11 directly into the g function. So therefore the gf of 3 is going to equal to 2 multiplied by 11 minus 6. So we've taken this value of 11 and we've put it directly into the g function which is at the top of the screen there and that will give us then a final answer of 16 and that would be the answer to that particular part a. Okay, let's have a look at part B. Now part B is a little bit trickier because we need the inverse function for each of them. So we've got f in or inverse of f power of x, um, x and then the inverse of g. So let's have a look at working out both of those first. So what I'll do is I'll write them out properly on the screen itself. So I've got the function of x is going to equal to 3x plus 2 and that's given in the question. Okay what we need to do then in the method is is that we make this the y is equal to 3x plus 2 and then we make x the subject of this particular formula. So x equals y minus 2 divided by 3. And when we finish that, we then just convert everything back. So we get, therefore, the uh, inverse function of x is equal to x minus 2 over 3. OK, now if you're not sure about that, please do let me know in the comments and I will be able to uh, to provide you with a playlist. OK, so let's look at the g function. g of x equals 2x minus 6. OK, and then I'm going to make that y equals 2x minus 6. And then use the same procedure as I did before. I make x the subject, which is going to become y plus 6 divided by 2. And then I just basically swap everything and back. So the inverse of g of x is going to equal to x plus 6 all divided by 2. And what the question is asking us to do is to make these two formulas equal to each other and then solve for x. So if we work that through I'm going to get x minus 2 over 3 equals x plus 6 over 2 and then really I would just cross multiply. So if I cross multiply I'm going to get 2 multiplied by x minus 2 equals 3 multiplied by x plus 6. OK, let's expand out those brackets. I'm going to get 2x minus 4 equals 3x plus 18. OK, so um, if I take 2x from both sides, I'm just going to get x on the right hand side. If I take 18 from both sides, I'm going to get minus 22. So therefore, in answer to the question, then x would equal minus 22 for the inverse of f and the inverse of g. OK, so a little bit of a tricky question. If you're not sure about this, let me know in the comments and I will be able to give you a playlist with some uh, other examples on as well. I hope it's been useful. Look forward to seeing you inside the next video. OK, so I hope the video was useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the channel. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.